One of the most exciting things about growing your business with AI agents and custom GPTs is that you can use a tool like this, like MindPal, to create what is essentially a custom GPT that you can embed inside of your course, your membership, or use it as a lead magnet. But setting up this kind of multi-agent workflow inside of MindPal is not exactly straightforward or intuitive, but I created a free YouTube channel analyzer that I embedded into the Video Brand Academy app. And there's a web version of this also, which I will link to down in the description below this video. But today I wanna show you exactly how I built this in MindPal so you can take the idea of this and create it yourself in your niche for your business. You don't have to create a YouTube channel analyzer, but this is really fun. So let me show you how it actually works. This is on my website at meredithmarsh.co. It's just a regular landing page, but it has the multi-agent workflow that's this entire workflow is embedded into this page. So it gets triggered when you upload two screenshots or one from your YouTube channel, preferably your YouTube channel homepage so that it can see the banner at the top and your videos page. Just whatever you can grab in your screenshot will work. Hit continue. And it's the AI is going to analyze your channel just looking at the screenshots. It's going to give you a cringe or binge score. I got an 82 out of 100. How about that? It's going to give you a little assessment and it'll even ask if you want even more glow up tips. So you get that score and then based on the score and what it sees, it'll give you even more tips for branding. It'll give you an idea to create a digital product that you can sell with your channel. It'll even give you your next video idea to kind of blow up your channel. So how did I build this? Well, I did it all with MindPal and I'll put a link to MindPal down in the description so you can check it out and you can actually play with it for free. But what this is, is a multi- agent or multi-step workflow. So the user uploads their screenshots and then I have two AI agents here. One of them is going to analyze those screenshots. I'll show you that in a moment. The other one is giving a sneaky little text and you're going to have to go and use the actual channel analyzer to see what that text is. But my AI agent here is going to analyze those screenshots and then give you the score based on zero to 100. So I trained this AI agent, this cringeworthy to bingeworthy score, specifically how to score the screenshots of somebody's YouTube channel. And I'll show you that. But once it has given you or the user the score, it's going to ask, do you want more glow up tips? Yes or no. If they say that they do, then it moves on to the three other agents. One of them is there for branding. One of them is there to give you an idea for a digital product that you could sell with your YouTube channel. If you choose no, that you don't want any more glow up tips, then it triggers this subflow. And all the subflow is, is an agent that is trained to show this text on the screen. That's like, hey, no problem, whatever, like be on your merry way. So each of these individual agent nodes in the workflow are trained to do something very specific. So let me open these up here. This is a human input node. This is where I'm saying, we need your channel screenshot. You can upload a maximum of two images. This is required because obviously this whole thing needs to run on something. So you have to give it your screenshots. The analyzing agent over here is given the task to analyze the screenshot of the user's YouTube homepage. 
and assign a binge-worthy score from 0 to 100 based on visual branding, consistent positioning, monetization, and blah, blah, blah. So this thing here is basically pulling the input images forward. This is like saying, here's the screenshot that I want you to analyze. Now go ahead and analyze it. So that's the task that the agent is being given. And if you think of this agent like it's a person, I'm handing you this channel screenshot and saying, here, I want you to analyze this. Just give me a score from zero to 100 and a couple of other stuff in there. That agent that I'm handing it to has a background. It has an output format. It knows how I want to receive the information. And it knows, based on the analysis, what to tell the user about their actual channel. So it's got the background and the output. This is like having a prompt in ChatGPT and saying, here are my screenshots. This is your task. And then this is all of your background context and stuff that you need to know to run this task. I don't have any knowledge sources attached to this. And the language model that I'm using is Gemini 2.5 Pro. I could choose any of these uh, ChatGPT or Claude language models or some of the other ones that I don't have connected. So it's going to give the user this output. So the task is to give the user a score and then give it some context and explanation of why that was the score. And then if the user chooses to continue and get some more tips, choose yes or no, it's kind of like handing off those screenshots to another member of your team and saying, okay, I just want you to look at the branding. Let's just look at the visuals here. And it's very similar as the previous task. Review your YouTube channel banner and thumbnails in the uploaded image, give practical, honest feedback, and there's some specifics in there for the task. And this agent, this person, not a person, but this agent is, again, trained on a specific background to run this branding analyzer. This one is connected to GPT 4.1 for the language model. Moving on here to my scroll-stopping YouTube video idea generator agent. Again, this is like handing it to someone else saying like, okay, we got the branding experts opinion. Now let's look at the YouTube channel from the perspective of just like coming up with killer YouTube video ideas. And again, this is a different agent. So it has its own background output format. And the language model here is again, GPT 4.1. And then same thing again with this third agent. We're handing it off to someone else to say, okay, now you look at this from the perspective of someone who can create an offer, who can create a digital product. Like look at this channel and say, here's something you could create that would serve your audience and be really helpful that people, that would be so helpful that people are willing to pay for it and then produce those ideas. So all of this gets set up inside of MindPal. I can change this, edit it, add in more steps if I want to, change the prompts if I want to. And then under the form option, this is where I get to publish it as a form that I can embed into any landing page. So under share options, I can either share this as a link directly on MindPal's domain or I can get the iframe HTML code, and that's what I pasted over here into my landing page. So this is just a landing page that I set up with Kajabi, which is where I have meredithmarsh.co hosted. That's also where I host Video Brand Academy, my membership, my courses, and all of the tools that I have embedded into my AI tool suite. This is what allows me to create these custom tools with MindPal and embed them into my course or program so they're actually behind a paywall. So because my membership and my courses are hosted with Kajabi, all I have to do is take that HTML code and paste it into the lesson section of my Kajabi lessons and I have a complete AI tool suite hosted 
on my Kajabi site behind a paywall for Video Brand Academy members, but created with MindPal. Now, would it be cool to embed a custom GPT that you create with ChatGPT? Yes, it would. But so far, I haven't found that to be possible. So that's a huge benefit of using MindPal for this kind of thing. But also because you get to set this up step by step by step, you're not just programming or like engineering a prompt for ChatGPT, you're able to set this up step by step and use any of the LLMs. You're not just locked into ChatGPT. If you want to see it in action, I'll put a link to the YouTube channel analyzer down in the description. There's also a link to download the Video Brand Academy app so you can use this channel analyzer right on your phone. And if you run that channel analyzer, you're going to see that part of this workflow reveals a little secret that I've been hiding. So I'll put a link to the channel analyzer down below this video. We'll see where you end up.